Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Connor. And I'm Louie. And today we're working with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're using the iPhone 12 Pro Max to film some B-roll shots. Uh, B-roll can be found in any types of video that you see online or on TV. And today we're gonna be sharing our top five favorite cinematic B-roll shots, all shot on the iPhone. So let's get started. All right. All right, so let's start with an easy one. This one's called the rotational pull. We're essentially gonna start off at a high angle and pulling it down and rotating it at the same time. Essentially what that's going to do is kind of show the details of the tree. You could essentially use this shot if you want to transition into another scene or establish a shot. And you could even use it in different speeds. I like to use it fast on certain fast paced videos or slow when it's a little bit more slow paced. So yeah, let me go film an example of how it looks like. All right, this next shot is really common and it's super easy to do. And we're gonna do it on the iPhone using our film rig. It's called the foreground shot. Essentially what you're trying to accomplish here is having the subject in focus while having the foreground not in focus. So you can focus on transitions or establishing a scene, whatever. So we're gonna mount our iPhone onto the film rig just like this. And we're going to be using this wall as a foreground and focusing on this tree as our subject. So let's come take a look. All right, so this next shot is one of my favorite shots. It's called through the window, but you could essentially go through anything that has an opening just like a window. You're gonna need a friend to help you out in this because uh, someone's going to have to grab the phone on the other side of the window. Um, you'll see what I mean when we do it. But essentially what we're gonna do is mount the iPhone onto the film edition pole that we have here, and we're going to extend it to the highest setting. Once we extend it to the highest setting, we lock it, and we mount the iPhone at a 90 degree angle, just so. And now it's a little easier for us to push the iPhone through the window. So what we're gonna do is Connor's gonna be sitting on the other side of the car, not being seen on camera. And I'm going to push the phone through the window. And once it's through, uh, Connor's gonna grab the other end of the pole and keep going so it's a seamless shot. It's a little complicated, but you'll see what I mean. All right, let's check it out. All right, so for this next one, we're also gonna be using the film edition. This one is gonna be an aerial. Uh, so essentially we're going to film with the iPhone using this pole to try to get a similar shot as of what a drone would uh, capture. Now that operating a drone is getting harder and harder every single day, you need licensings and permits and all that stuff, or sometimes drones aren't even allowed. Having a pole that could extend all the way up to make it seem like it's elevated is uh, a huge help to kind of get those establishing shots. So for this shot, we're gonna extend the pole all the way. Once again, we're going to keep the iPhone straight forward and we're going to essentially film at a higher level um, and get some drone shots, quote unquote. All right, so check it out. All right, so the last and final tip that we have for you guys today is hyperlapses and time lapses. So for this one, we're gonna use the Osmo Mobile 4 and a third-party app like Filmic Pro um, and essentially put it on time-lapse mode so we can get a hyperlapse or time-lapse based on what we're doing. Uh, we're essentially gonna drive around to see what we could find. Uh, maybe we could walk around and do a cool time-lapse and speed it up. I love seeing these in videos because a lot of people use them to transition from a new spot to another spot or to a different scene. Um, so we're gonna do one uh, just around this area as we drive around or walk around to see what we find interesting. 
All right, come take a look. All right, so those are a few favorite B-roll shots we like to use in our videos. Let us know which one's your favorite B-roll shot in the comments below. See you in the next one.